Well, hi there, and welcome back to another episode of MacGyver's Workshop and uh, our uh, home building project. Got uh, working on the front and back porch, uh, framing that up, and uh, show you what we got here. it won't mess my microphone up uh, got another skid and a little bit of concrete here in the back of the truck we'll be mixing that up okay so last week I poured these there's 12 of them six in the front six in the back and that's what the uh, the columns for the to hold the outside edge of the porch up will be sitting on as with the soft ground around here I want to have a nice big you know pad for it to sit on and uh, then we're gonna have a tube coming up off of here coming out to the, the height of the bottom of the beams that will go across for the deck and most all this will all be underground once we put all the backfill in then all we'll see is those little little concrete tubes coming up so let's get over here I posted some pictures on my Facebook and it's kind of hard to explain the process so we'll get a look here so once we poured the pads measured it with a laser at night my self-leveling uh, laser transit and uh, marked on the wall where our uh, you know baseline was going to be and then use the laser to uh, put it out here and then I, these tubes are actually four feet long so you just stand them on top of here and mark where the laser hits it and cut them to that length and then that way you have them all at the same height all the way down and that'll give me a, a level platform for the beams to go across it'll support the actual deck itself and then the the, uh, the columns that will go up and support the porch roof so then we got our trusty little cement mixer to mix all that stuff up with I had the the old one that uh, my friend Joe let me use, but that thing's getting a little wonky now, and sometimes it doesn't want to spin right and all that, and I spend more time working on it than I do using it. So we went ahead and bit the bullet and bought this one, and uh, it'll do for us. So it's pretty robust. I'm happy with it. It wasn't terribly expensive. So anyway. So what we'll do is we'll mix, uh, that thing can hold two 80 pound bags at one time. Mix it up, put it in the wheelbarrow because see it's kind of soft out here. I don't want to back that truck in here and get it stuck with all that weight of cement in it. So we'll uh, mix it up, put it in a wheelbarrow. I'm just going to have to ladle it into these tubes. So because the tube's only 12 inches in diameter so it's uh there's no way we can just pour it out of the mixer directly into the tube so unfortunately so we got to do it the hard way but anyway so stay tuned and we'll get some uh get some video going here of us once we actually get cranked up and start going here Burial fluid. Okay. It's about 
about 4.30 and we started probably about, I don't know, sometime this morning anyway after breakfast. So we got all of them poured. I got to let these guys set up a little bit before I stick the bolts down in there. But, I'll take a walk over here. Friggin' wind kicked up this morning. It's been blowing like crazy all day. So I'm gonna turn turn the phone, turn the camera around here a little bit so you know the wind doesn't blow in the mic. But there's the there's the bolt that the uh, bracket will mount to. It's called a post base. And then all the other ones have it. Of course, all these tubes are a lot taller because the ground's a lot lower out here. So, and the, they're real short in the in the back where the ground's higher. That's okay. This will be all. This will be all filled in with the fill dirt and it'll all slope gradually away from the house and look real nice when it's all said and done. So anyway, that's that little bit for now. Hard to believe that was dang near a day's work, but we had to line up these tubes with the, uh, that's why I have the extra wood on there holding them in place. I had to line them up with, center them where the, you know, where the column's gonna go so that the column sits right in the center of the, the uh, pillar there. So that took a lot of work, more than actually pouring the cement did. But anyway, that's it for now. Stay tuned. Okay. So, this is what they call the post base, and uh, you'll see where we've got the bolts in the in the concrete pillars out there. But that big bolt will come up through this hole, and this post base will set on there. And then we'll have our nut, and our washer on there, and then this sets down inside there. like so and then the six by six post sits in there and we'll run a big giant bolt through there along with the other little code required things and screws and nails or whatever that have to go in there and uh, of course we can't set those on the pillars yet because they're still very wet but in there. Of course the bolts are too long for these little short stubby piers so we'll have to cut those off but other than that they're all set with a laser and the exact same distance from the house. So the porch will be nice and square. But anyhow that's it for that.